right, it's the Shore Sports MD Overtime Live Game of the Week presented by Preston Ford, and it's our first weekly coaches interview on location here as we provide you some video, of course, on the radio Friday night, 6 o'clock, Easton hosting Kent Island and uh, pregame starts at 540. Don't forget the Kona Ice tailgate party at Easton beginning at 5 o'clock. But we're coming to you right here from Kent Island High School and new old head coach Brian Sofanowski joining us. And coach, it's game week. And first, as you're back in your old spot, do you have some jitters and nerves or is this just old hat for you? I can't even ex explain how nervous I am. It's it's. I, well, this morning I woke up at 1.30, so, and I've been awake ever since, and that's the way it started since last week. So uh, I imagine I won't get much sleep the next couple of days either. So I'm nervous as heck. Coach, what was kind of the theme in summer practice, and how do you think things went as uh, you head into this first game? Uh, rebuilding this program. Not rebuilding, but just rebuilding the team the way we want to see it fit because we want to be disciplined in how we play. So it was just really making sure the boys understood how hard they needed to work because we lost so many seniors from last year, and they needed to realize that this the program is going to have to need a little more out of them to be successful and to carry on what Damian had done. And coach. Uh the continuity, I think, is really key for this program that, uh, you know, things are, are pretty smooth. Yeah, you've got younger players, as you talked about, so you're making sure that they hold the standard. But a lot of things, though, stay the same, generally speaking, with scheme and coaches and such. Yeah, pretty much for the most part. Coaches all pretty much the same. We have a few new coaches. Uh, but, you know, there's a few nuances here and there. Of course, you're going to have some tricks up your sleeve. Of course, you got time for the first game of the season. Let's talk about the game against Easton. Matt Griffith, he's also back coaching on the sidelines. This is going to be a phenomenal matchup. We're really looking forward to it and have looked forward to it, you know, all off season long. Uh, coach, of course, is a big offensive guy. You've got O'Connor, a quarterback, and, of course, your defensive coordinator back and, uh, and Coach Goodrich. But uh, talk about this matchup uh, between the Bucks and the Warriors. Well, you know, Matt does an incredible job with his program, and he's got great athletes. I think O'Connor's probably one of the best football players on the base side without question. And, uh, you know, we're actually focusing on us right now. And I think even for Friday night, if we do what we believe is good for us, we're going to be competitive with them. Uh, but they're going to be – they're a dangerous offense. They're flying around defense. They, have, they bring a lot of pressure. So it's going to be interesting. And, and we, if we do what we do right – then we'll stay in the game. Well, Coach, I know you've always been big about worrying about ourselves and the rest will take care of itself. Uh, to that end, though, I'm just curious, uh, in terms of those uh, fans that are, are newer to the Bayside and all that and, and weren't paying attention as much when you were head coach at Ken Island or into it, what is the staple of your program? What, what do you want your program to be known for, and what do you hope that you'll leave behind, win or lose, Friday night in Easton? Tough, discipline and yet still good young men. That's as simple as that. We're, we, we're like that blue pail, lunch pail guy coming, coming to work every day, working hard every moment that you're there. Uh, we're trying to stay humble, but at the same time, outwork everyone else. Well, Coach, best wishes to you again. It's going to be a great matchup Friday night, 6 o'clock, 94.3, Winks FM, ForeverMidshore.com, and the Forever Radio app. Easton hosting Kent Island, a great litmus test game for both ball clubs here. Again, pregame at 5.40 and uh, the Kona Ice tailgate at 5 o'clock. And, of course, I'll be hosting overtime live for yet another season uh, after the game. But, Coach, good to have you back. Best wishes on the season ahead. Thanks, Mike. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, now we're going to set it to Easton and Mark Potters with head coach Matt Griffin. Thanks, Mike. We're here with Matt Griffith, head coach of the Eastern Warriors, another coach that came out of retirement just in time for tonight's ball game against the Kent Island Buccaneers. You've had a couple of scrimmages. What are you expecting out of your team? Well, we've progressed each scrimmage so far, and, you know, hopefully we can go out and play four quarters and, you know, try to give Kent Island the best game we can give them. So you have Kevin O'Connor. You have four or five returning starters, but you've also got a pretty good number of kids on the roster. How does your team stack up against Ken Island tonight? Uh, Ken Island's going to be Ken Island. They're going to play tough. They're going to be physical. They're going to be hard-nosed up front on offense and defensive line. we got to be able to help and control the line of scrimmage. we got some playmakers. If we can get in space, I like our chances. Um, it's going to be a tip, tough, difficult task for us, but uh, at the end of the day, it's going to be what happens through the four quarters. All right, so in years past, when you left, you were a spread team, but you, you're very creative. What are we looking for 
player-wise tonight to step up outside of just Kevin O'Connor because there's 10 other kids on the field. Well, we got Brandon Jenkins. He's a very talented junior running back for us. Uh, he's got some speed and he's very shifty. I think he's going to you know, present some problems if we can get him into space. We've got to block up front for him. Then we got some slot receivers and some wideouts that uh, if they catch the ball in space, they're going to be tough to tackle. Pretty young team? Uh, for the most part, we do have 20 seniors. Uh, about nine or ten of them are, are getting significant playing time. The rest are coming from the younger group, and uh, they're pretty talented. Defensively, new back this year. What are we doing? Uh, we'll be a 3-5, you know, and we're going to get after. We're going to try to play fast, bring pressure, and do different things throughout the night. It'll be a good matchup. Stay tuned, and make sure you listen to 94.3 Winx FM tonight. We've got the Kona Ice tailgate party that's going to get things started at 5 o'clock at Easton High School. So head on out at 5.40, the Roto-Rooter pregame show, and we'll have the kickoff coming up at 6 o'clock right here on Overtime Live and 94.3 Winks FM. Listen online at forevermidshore.com.